Hello, this is Scott. Welcome back to my YouTube channel where I cover a variety of data science and analytics topics, including open discussions and then platforms for uh, commercial solutions, platforms for open source. Today we're talking about open source R and we're continuing on with this series of forecasting uh, in time series specifically talking about the world development indicators package and uh, associated data set. So I'm going to go straight into R and I'm actually not going to execute the, the first part of this because if you've been with me before and I believe it's R25, um, R26, um, we covered uh, um, this. In fact, last time in R26, what we did is we, we um, created the multivariate time series um, and so you should have that. So this is the series that we created last time, this GDP TS, uh, so it's a, a class time series and today we're going to start with the uh, vector autoregression part. So the first thing we need to do is we need to determine whether we have a non-stationary series um, and uh, we've looked at this, we pretty much know that, that we do, we, we've plotted this out. The number of differences uh, re required here is one, so first order differencing is all that I need. Um, I'm actually going to create this difference series here and then I'm going to plot it. So um, now I'm going to plot it with this legend. All right, so now I have the difference series um, and it looks more stationary certainly than, than it did. Um, very interesting this point right here. This is 2008. We've talked about that previously in a session. This is the global credit crisis um, of 2008. This might be the dot-com uh, bust in 2000, et cetera, where it affected GDP for several different industrialized nations. So now I'm going to require this VARS package and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fit a model um, with that. And then we're going to look at the lag order um, and I'm going to use, if you can see here, a Kaki information criterion and with a lag order of six. And then let's look at the, the names. So these are the these are our our nations that we're modeling. Remember last time we dropped out Germany um, due to uh, some missing data there. So here's what I have, and then I'm not going to do this for every single one, but every what what Bar does is it creates a linear model for every one of the components of the multivariate time series. So if I look at the class, you know, those are, it's a linear model. And then I can look at the, the coefficients um, for the, the series that, that was created here. So um, that's for Canada. Um, and then this is Japan. So these are the actual coefficients of the linear model created um, uh, here. And of course I could do this for every country, but we'll just look at these two as an example. And then if, if I want to get a plot, a coefficient plot, I'll load this package here. And then this will be interesting because I'll actually get a plot of the different coefficients and for every single lag, right? So these, these results are for just lag one and these are for all six, right? So um, here's the constant. And I can see US, the United States for lag six, United Kingdom for lag six, Singapore lag six, Japan. So, um, and then I can change the dimensions of this if I wanted to and, and zoom in um, on this, this plot as well. Let's see, in Japan, uh, get that as well. We can see here that uh, China, or, I'm sorry, yes, China lag two, um, that coefficient is is higher, the uh, and the standard deviation is is larger. China here for five, and China here for six. 
So you can see that those economies tend to be tend to be tied, um, and then China like one is the biggest uh, variation um, um, and and change there. So interesting to note there. I may have gone through Canada. I don't recall if there was something on Canada that was. Um, anyway, uh, maybe not that big of a deal, but you can look through that, play with that. Obviously, there's a lot of different plots that we can do, a lot of different investigation that we can do, but essentially, um, this is for quick illustration. You have all the time in the world to download this WDI package and play with it yourself, and then here, I'm actually generating the, the forecasts um, for the different components of the, the, the multivariate series. So, um, appreciate you joining, and hopefully you can join me next time. I'm going to, when I get back into R, I'm going to do GARCH um, for time series. Thanks.